Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng Aralin sa Mathematics. This video presentation is all about polynomial functions. The objective of this presentation is to understand and illustrate polynomial functions. When we talk of polynomial function, it is important that we work on with the study of expression versus equation versus function. An expression is a number, a variable, or a combination of numbers and variables and operation symbol. An equation is two expression linked with an equal sign. And a function tries to define a relationship. Let us try to work on with an expression. And these are examples of expression. 3x to the second minus 5x, negative 5x, 15, 8x minus 2x to the p minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x plus 1. Okay, these are all example of expression. So later on, alamin natin paano siya na iba dun sa dalawa pang terms like this one. Function. Okay, these are the example of function. g of x is equal to 5x plus 5. h of x is equal to x to the fourth plus 4x minus 8. Then f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then f of x is equal to 3x minus 8. And c of x is equal to 2x to the p minus 2x to the fourth plus 4x plus 8. Nagkaroon na siya ng mga symbol na function which is g of x, f of x, h of x, c of x, and a lot symbol that we can use. Unlike expression, wala noon. How about equation? Okay, 7x plus 3 equals 0. x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Then 2x equals 0. 3x minus 8 equals 0. x to the p minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x plus 1 equals Zero. So, sana napansin natin how different are the three terms na kasama or importanteng malaman natin when it comes to polynomials. So, let's start. Okay, about polynomial function. A polynomial function is a function written in the form f of x is equal to a sub n, x to the n plus a sub n minus 1, x raised to n minus 1, plus that, 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 or we also read that as ellipse symbol, plus a sub 1, x, plus a sub 0, where n is a non-negative integers, and a sub n, and a sub n minus 1, that, 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 again, pwede rin siyang ellipse symbol, a sub 0 are real numbers, and a sub n is not equal to Zero. So, that's the definition of a polynomial function. So, let's start continue working with the polynomial. Okay. An expression is a polynomial if and only if the variable has no negative exponent. So, bawal ang negative exponent. Kapag negative exponent, hindi na siya polynomial. Then, the variable has no fraction exponent. Fractional exponent, ibig sabihin, no fraction na exponent consider as polynomial. Then the variable is not in the denominator, yung mga, yung, especially the x, walang, dina, wala siya, hindi siya pwede sa denominator. And the variable is not under the radical sign. So let us try to work on with the examples. Okay, so we are going to identify whether the following is polynomial expression or not. Okay, let's have this three example. What do you think is the first example? Okay, the first example is polynomial. Dun sa binanggit kanina na ito condition, uh, pasok naman siya. So, ibig sabihin siya ay polynomial. Okay, not polynomial. Reason behind, bakit hindi siya polynomial? Because of the negative exponent. Okay, bawal magkaroon ng negative exponent. Next, not polynomial ang pangatlo. Kasi bawal din ang fractional na ang ating variable ay nasa denominator. 
k next k4 and 5 and 6 so what do you think is number 4 okay not polynomial bawal sa loob ng radical ang variable yan yung pang-apat na condition na binanggit kanina then the next one the pip one okay it's polynomial walang negative na exponent walang variable sa denominator wala din siya sa loob ng radical symbol ay ang pang-anim ano sa palagay nyo Okay, kung ang sagot nyo ay polynomial, tama kayo. So, baka sabihin nyo, ito may radical. Okay, wala sa loob ng radical ang variable, kaya siya pa rin ay polynomial. Okay, that is how we can identify whether it is a polynomial expression, which is also related with polynomial function. Bawal din yan na polynomial function. Let's continue. Okay, this time, let's work on with the degree leading coefficient and constant term. Pag sinabi natin degree, degree is the highest exponent of the variable. So, titignan ng variable kung ano ang pinakamataas na exponent, yun ang magiging degree. Then, the leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the variable with highest exponent. Kapag nakuha na natin ang highest exponent, kung ano yung number na kalapit ng variable, yun na yung leading coefficient. And the constant term is the value with no variable. So, let's start with an example. Okay, for each of the following polynomial function, determine the degree, the leading coefficient, and the constant term. Let's start with the first example. f of x is equal to 2x to the p minus 5x to the third plus x minus 1. So, let's work with finding the degree, finding the leading coefficient, and the constant term. So, based from our definition, degree is the highest exponent of the terms. So, tingnan natin kung alin ang mga exponent natin. So, we have 5, 3, dito naman 1. So, ang highest exponent ay 5. Therefore, the degree of this polynomial function is 5. Okay, kapag naman leading coefficient, so, mahalaga yung highest exponent. Kung ano yung coefficient na kalapit ng variable yun na yun. Hence, the leading coefficient is 2. Then, the last is the constant term. Yung walang kalapit na variable. So, ang walang ng kalapit na variables ay negative 1. Therefore, ang ating constant term ay negative 1. Okay, proceed with the second example. f of x is equal to 5x to the third minus 2x to the second plus x plus 8. So, let's start working with the degree, the leading coefficient, and the constant term. Highest exponent ay 3. Therefore, the degree is 3. The leading coefficient, yung coefficient dun sa may highest degree, is 5. Therefore, the answer there is 5. And, so, and the constant term, yung walang kalapit na variable, that's 8. Let's have the next example. f of x is equal to 7x to the fourth minus 2x to the second plus 10. Highest exponent natin ay, tignan ulit natin, 4. Therefore, the degree is 4. Then, ang kanyang coefficient ay 7. Therefore, the leading coefficient is 7 at ang constant term ay 10. Okay, so sana you have already the idea of what a polynomial function is kamatoklas. God bless us.